upload interweb. Uh, if you're watching this, then you've probably had the problem before of things like logos and other beautiful vector artwork in Illustrator um, not being easy to get into PowerPoint. But it actually is pretty easy, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, one thing that I like to do is make sure that everything's been expanded and turned into outlines so that there's no um, stroke effects on the artwork. You can import it with stroke effects too. I just think it's easier if, if you're working with all fills. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this just like I normally would to copy and paste it anywhere else. But for PowerPoint, we're going to do paste special which is control alt B and we are going to do an enhanced meta file. Um, Windows meta file seems to work just as well, but I tend to use enhanced meta file for whatever reason and haven't had problems with it. So that's the one that I recommend. Then once it's in here, you're going to press control shift G to break it apart or ungroup it. And I've got my selection pane open over here. If you go all the way to the bottom, there's an auto shape, which is just a square that uh, PowerPoint puts around the object. I delete that out so that I don't accidentally end up filling it with a color or whatever else might happen with it. Um, so now it's just one big group of shapes that you can work with just like you would any other PowerPoint shape. Um, you can put a fill on them, for example, or if you want to go into the group and select a specific object and color just that object, you can do that too. And there you have it. That is how you get vector shapes.